In this shortcast, I'll show you a couple of tips for taking good lecture notes in mathematics or statistics lectures. The best way to do that is to give you a short lecture now, which will go for about a minute, get you to take some notes from that lecture, and then we'll talk about what you wrote down afterwards. Bear in mind when you're taking lecture notes that you're trying to create a resource that you can use later on when it comes to working out how to answer assignment and test questions. So if you need to get a piece of paper and a pen, just pause the video and we'll get started. OK, here's the problem we're going to look at. We have an equation and we will try and solve it for the variable x. The equation is 1 plus 4 over x equals 21 over x squared. Now the first thing we need to do with a problem in this format is get the x's out of the bottom line of the fraction. That'll take a line or two of algebra to tidy up the terms we get afterwards as well. And the problem now looks like this. As you can see the x's are out of the bottom line and better still we have a quadratic expression on the left hand side. We have a couple of ways of dealing with quadratic equations like this. I always look for the possibility of factorization first, and it turns out this one does resolve into two factors, x minus 7 being one of them, multiplied by x minus 3. Now of course not all quadratics are easy to factorize, some don't factorize at all, and in those cases we have to fall back on the quadratic formula. Now that we've got a factorised replacement for that quadratic left hand side, we know that when any two numbers multiplied together produce zero, it only requires one of those numbers to be zero themselves. So for example, the first factor x minus 7 could be zero, or the second one x minus 3 could be zero. That leads us very quickly to the answers which are that x is either equal to minus 7 or 3. Now that's the end of our mini lecture. I would say at this stage at the very least you would have on your piece of paper what you see on the screen. Now not all maths lectures are like this all the time but maths is after all a language, a specialised language and from time to time lecturers will explain what they're doing in a series of algebraic steps on the board. But if you're listening to what the lecturer says while they're doing it you can also add to these notes some other very useful features. For example, between the first and the second line I explained that I had left out two or three steps of algebra. Usually between two lines in an explanation like this there's really only one idea that you need to understand. If you're only expecting to find one idea between two lines then you may not be able to find out the two or three steps that have been left out. So make a little note to remind yourself. Lecturers will do this from time to time, especially if the steps left out are fairly routine or content that you can be expected to know from previous courses. I also said something very important about why I was doing those steps. And the key thing was that I was trying to get x out of the bottom line of the fractions. So I'll just write denom there. I usually don't have a lot of time to write things down and probably not a lot of space. So a quick note like that will remind us of why we took those steps. If you know why you're taking a set of steps then there's a good chance you'll remember to do it when you're answering your own assignment questions. A bit further down I pointed out that the quadratic factorised but there was an alternative method if that didn't work. So we'll make a note of that as well. Or use the quad form for quadratic formula. And that applies to this line here if it doesn't work. When lecturers set you assignment questions you can bet your bottom dollar that they're not going to give you carbon copies of things they've done in the lecture examples. They're not interested in your ability to memorise a series of steps for a very specific situation. They'd like you to be more creative about your problem solving and be able to make sensible decisions 
that are different to the ones in the lectures. Finally, we also made the point with the next line that this step works because anything multiplied by 0 produces 0. So we make a little note of that. And again, that will help us remember when we factorise the quadratic, this is the next step. So as you can see, we have a set of notes now, which is a combination of what the lecturer wrote on the board, which contains a lot of information, as well as some other things we've picked up from what they were saying. And this will help you take excellent maths lecture notes. And if you're listening to the lecturer, you'll also find that the time goes a lot faster.